Planning to travel abroad? You might want to consider travel insurance. With ever-changing COVID requirements, some countries are now mandating tourists get the coverage. But even if your dream destination doesn't require it, getting covered still might be the best way to avoid a travel nightmare. Here's CNBC's Contessa Brewer. A trip to a Caribbean island in the cold winter months, sand and sunshine, a relaxing holiday on Anguilla. Until that COVID test to fly home. We were all required to have a test taken within 24 hours of departure uh, to go home. And we had nine negatives and one positive, which was mine. So in January, David Katz got a hotel room by himself and a staff escort to it. He said, is there anything else you need? And I said, well, I was hoping you were going to give me the key. And they said, no. Uh, call us if you need anything. And, you know, they left and closed the door. Suddenly stuck and shelling out more money for quarantine food and lodging. It's the big reason demand for travel insurance is soaring. Travelers right now are facing more uncertainty than ever before uh, due to COVID. So more of them are turning to travel insurance to protect their financial investments in their trip and also for coverage while they're traveling. Squaremouth, an online marketplace for trip insurance, says sales in 2021 were 50 percent higher than 2019 before the pandemic. And the first month of this year, sales were an astonishing 266 percent higher than January last year. And insurers have changed their policies to meet that demand. We have seen most providers offering coverage if you were to contract the virus. That's a significant change since the pandemic started, though not all policies cover COVID. So you have to check the details before purchasing. David Katz didn't have trip insurance. We think everything is going to continue to progress to where we can start to act uh, normally, or at least in, in a new normal context. But, you know, hard to know. Uh, and so I think that's ultimately what insurance is for. It's for the hard to know. Well, one note, there are still situations where even a COVID policy won't kick in. For instance, if a country decides to shut down its border because of the pandemic, that typically would not be covered by insurance. That's where a cancel for any reason policy would come into play. Though, Chef, they can cost as much as 50 percent more and they only reimburse about 75 percent of your costs. How expensive is the travel insurance, Contessa? Well, look, the, the average last year was $250 for a policy. It's usually 5 to 10 percent of the trip costs for a comprehensive policy. But, of course, that can change depending on how long you're traveling, your destination, the age of the traveler. So it really pays to shop around for the best price here. Contessa Brewer, thank you.